Malcolm, your thoughts first of all on that game? You know, it wasn't from a lack of effort or anything like that. Uh, you know, we're a real tired, beat-up hockey club right now. If you look at it, we've played 49 games, and when we started the season, everybody else had played like 10. So we, we've played, you know, 10 more games in 36 less days than everybody else, and it's catching up to us right now. We, we, we knew it would it probably at the beginning of the year and then probably at the end of the year. The grind of the schedule was starting you know, five, six weeks later than everybody. You can see it. I mean, the guys certainly tried last night in Belfast, uh, tried even harder tonight. Uh, I loved our third period. I mean, we had a ton of zone time, uh, lots of great A chances. And when you're fresh or relatively fresh, uh, I'd like to think we probably would have buried two of those at least, you know, because we had some real good looks at the net. And that's not to take any credit from the goalie because he played really well. But, you know, when you're really tired, you're not quite as sharp around the net. Maybe you hold it a split second or you didn't get six inches closer to where you should. And that's just fatigue. So, you know, it's a valuable point towards our quest and getting the playoff goal. Uh, we've got a long week off here. Uh, in between games, so I'm giving the guys multiple days off just to get away from the rink. We need to mentally and physically recharge. Uh, you know, we played a lot of games, so we're in shape and everything like that, but we'll get a couple of days leading up to the Manchester game next Saturday. That was going to be my next question. This break is, is coming at a timely uh, moment with uh, the other games to come at the other end. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we got five ahead of us here, and we look at them. They're, they're all winnable points. Uh, we control our own destiny, and, you know, certainly we'd like to uh, to feel good about ourselves once we clinch a playoff spot and, uh, and certainly be on the uptick going into playoffs. Uh, and this, this is a badly needed rest for us. And of course, you've got a bit of a nervous wait tomorrow. The other teams are playing. You're sitting out. Will you be keenly watching what's happening elsewhere? You know what? Like I said, we control our own destiny. We're, we're in, uh, you know, we have a seven point cushion right now on, on the ninth place team, and uh, we have them in our next game. So, you know, it's, it's up to us to take care of those things, and uh, we can't control what anybody else is doing. We can only control, and it was good. It would have been disappointing had we not got a point tonight, but, uh, you know, one nothing lead is a tough one, and they want to face off and, and get a rebound and score, and, you know, uh, for some reason, we just haven't been great tonight. We're, we've lost the most uh, overtime games this year in the league at seven. You know, if we could have found a way to win a couple of those, we'd be sitting in certainly in a better spot, but uh, there's no three on three in playoffs. So <laughs> that's the good thing. Um, so, you know, again, we'll just take a couple of days here and, uh, and rest and recharge. And I know our guys really want to do well down the stretch here. So like I said, yeah, I could see the pain on some of their faces, and, and people don't know, you know, the guys are playing through a lot of stuff right now. That's just the wear and tear of our schedule, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that uh, we had so many games in such a short period of time, but we knew that was going to be the deal when we started the season. Those two fights at the start of the game, that really set the tone, I thought. Got the, got the crowd going as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, the crowd was in it for both sides, and uh, it's a fun atmosphere when it's like that. Thanks, Malcolm. Thank you.